What we're gonna do is something a little bit different than what y'all have seen um, in times past. So what we're gonna do is a Google Translate makeup tutorial. Now I went on WikiHow because I wanted the simplest tutorial that I could possibly find. And I just looked up a basic tutorial from them on how to apply makeup. That's all I searched. Obviously I know how to do it, but I wanted something to transcribe. So I did that and I put it through Google Translate, a bunch of different languages, and this is what I got. So obviously I'm not the first person to do this. There's a girl named Kathleen who usually does like songs through Google Translate, but she did one too. I don't know what tutorial she translated, but she's also done this as well because I tried to look and see if anybody else had done it so I could give credit. All right, so let's jump in. I have read through these instructions. My husband has not. He's my camera guy today. So I have already reacted to these, so you won't get my first reaction, but you will get his. <laughs> I'm sure he's gonna have some comments. He's already like, what the heck are you doing? So step number one says, paint is all about improving appearance and increasing life. I mean, I can see the improving appearance part, but increasing life, I'm like, what? <laughs> It helps to paint the fabric throughout the day, which I think is like a portent that we're gonna do a bunch of touch-ups today because this is not gonna be good makeup. <laughs> so the first actual like application step is number two, which says peanut butter, oils, and powder make an excellent impression and work to create your next painting. So let's get started on our painting. I have my towel. I came prepared. Like I said, I, I read the instructions, so I, I'm ready, y'all. I got this. Okay, so for our foundation, since we're going with peanut butter, powder, and oil, I decided to kind of kill two birds with one stone. We are using our RX Nutrition Nut Butter with no BS, because we're not about that, especially not on our face. Um, note that your base should be the same color as your normal eyes without being dark or lighter. So we're gonna add some color here in a minute. Oh my God, my nose is so itchy. This is like, ugh, this is gross. Okay. <laughs> um, this will help you adjust your hand and neck so that your face does not look like the rest of your body. No, it will not. <laughs> the neck does not need a hamstring. Okay, that's good. If you get, it can use saline water for your fingers, but it often points to bacteria in your skin and causes it in the future. Okay, so it sounds like the first step in that is to make my base not the same color as the rest of my body, but the same color as my eyes and not lighter and not darker. So the closest powder I have to my eye color that can cover my whole face is the Wet n Wild, this is the Mega Glow Highlight Powder in the shade Royal Calyx. I do look like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Is that what Google's trying to do? Are they trying to... Are they trying to turn me into a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Because that's kind of gross. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh yeah, this is a look. This is, um, Pat McGrath is quaking right now. <laughs> She's like, oh my God. I have to set my base. So we're just, you know, setting everything, making it making that complexion nice and purple, and oh my god, it's so itchy. Oh, this is so itchy. This peanut butter is textured. Okay, step number, oh wait, we forgot about our saline. So we need saline for our fingers. This is the only saline I have. <laughs> and it was used by July of 2018. So we have expired saline. I guess that's why it, points to bacteria in the future. So let's try it. I think I'm supposed to use this on my neck. Just put it on my fingers there. Expired saline. It's like aftershave. <laughs> How does this smell? Can you smell it from over there? Okay. Ugh. What if I just like dripped it right on my neck? Okay. Is that better? I mean, at least more of it got on my neck that way. I feel like it smells really bad. <laughs> it says step number three, to use the puffed concealer, all caps, brush, around the bridge, 
correct the nose bridge in the middle of the front chin and upper lip. You can use a shade of complexion that matches the red coat on the surface or shade or shade. And you will do with him your limit, a pen and its base. <laughs> okay, um, so yeah, so we're supposed to correct with our concealer. I'm not sure what pen in its base has to do with anything. We're gonna go in with the NARS Soft Matte Concealer in the shade Light 2 Vanilla. Sounds like me. And we're just gonna, let's see, where does it want us to use our puffed concealer brush? Concealers in all caps. Um, around the bridge, correct the nose bridge. Okay, correct the nose bridge. Just the nose bridge, that's it. In the middle of the front chin and upper lip. Just the middle, not the whole thing. I can't blend this out and it's making me mad. <laughs> so to up the redness on this, I'm gonna use my ColourPop Lippy Sticks in the shade Goldie. And we're just gonna use this to up the redness a little bit. Oh yeah, that matches the red coat probably. <laughs> now I look sunburnt. <laughs> okay. Um, but I guess that can also count for pen in its base. That sounds like some kind of cryptic, like, way to say, like, your concealer base. Okay, towel, you've got to cooperate. Okay. <laughs> Number four, consular and foundation for establishment. Use a damp sponge or cosmetic wipe to wipe off very light property dust to remove the applied dusting floor. Fluffy put powder scare brush and or face full of glass. Okay, so we're gonna do um, a light dusting of property dust, which is gonna be our Anastasia Beverly Hills setting powder. It doesn't say where to put it, so I'm just gonna put it everywhere. I love this powder. We're gonna tap off a lot of the excess because it's supposed to be a light dusting. So we're gonna tap some of that excess and we're just gonna set everything. The smell is just, Divine. Okay, so I don't have any shards of broken glass to put on my face, unfortunately. Um, but I do have liquid glass from Farsali, so we're just gonna do that. <laughs> oh my gosh, I look like insane right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, so it doesn't say where we're supposed to put this either, it just says full face of glass. So we're just gonna tap this in. Mmm, that orange smell over the peanut butter and the saline. It's just, whoo, it's a lot. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. I don't know where my powder scare brush is. I need like a, like a skeleton brush that has like, that's like a powder brush. Um, but I don't have that. Um, number four. Five. It says use identifier. I'm not giving you my driver's license, okay? Not gonna happen. To gain depth, you need to create clear, marketable maps. Google's trying to put me to work. They try to, they try to use me just for using their translation. They try to put me to work. <laughs> I thought they had the cars for that. Okay. So I pre-drew my clear, marketable map because. I knew if I tried to sit here on the spot and do it, it was just going to take me forever. So I drew the only map that I could reasonably draw. <laughs> I don't know if it's clear and marketable, but it is a map. <laughs> Not sure what this has to do with the makeup, but it's, I mean, it's a semi-clear map. It's the clearest map that I could draw. Not sure if it's marketable. I don't know who the heck would want this, but <laughs> it is a map. <laughs> It's, it's a glow, okay? Like, that's the biggest kind of map you can possibly make. Okay, am I deep yet? Did I gain some depth? I'm not shallow anymore. Okay. Um, the use of cream before applying to the face to apply pressure to the deeper areas of the face, the inner corners of the eyes, and pain in the eyes, lips, prize, center. So, um, we're just gonna go back in with our concealer because that's the only, like, cream that I have on me that could possibly go on my face at this point. And we're gonna depress, um, just gonna tap in there gently. 
we're gonna depress some of the deeper parts of my face, so like right here, and we're just gonna hold pressure. It doesn't say for how long, but it just says hold pressure. And um, you know, like in here, these are some deeper parts of my face. Hold pressure, pressure, pressure. <laughs> we have our, um, our three forehead and cheek shapes, and I don't feel any relief at all. I still look like this. Help. Um, okay, you can use your finger to show us a small piece of wood, or one of them. I can use my finger to show you a small piece of wood. Done. Okay, not sure what that did for the makeup. Okay, number six. Now, without a foundation, the face becomes thinner and designates a natural face. I mean, peanut butter is not a foundation, but like, yeah, if my face was bare, it would be a natural face. I don't know that it would be thinner, but it would be a natural face. I'll give it that. They're not wrong, te technically. Um, contour after giving strength when adding bronze color. So to me, that sounds like we need to um, do our bronzer first and then contour. So I only want to dirty one brush. So we're gonna go back in with our Benefit blush bar. And we're gonna go back into our, or back, we're gonna go into our Hula bronzer. And we're just gonna bronze it up a little bit. Oh, that added some strength. <laughs> Especially over those cheek shapes. My cheek shapes are gone now. It didn't tell me where to put bronzer, so I'm just gonna put it like where I normally would. Um, now we're supposed to contour over our bronzer. This is gonna look ridiculous. We're gonna go in with our Anastasia Contour Stick. This is my favorite for contouring because it is the right shade to contour, which is why this is gonna look silly. Because bronzer is warm and contour is a little more cool toned. So this is gonna look freaking white over this bronzer. It might look like regular foundation on my skin, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just like I thought. Number seven, a little embarrassed. You think? The last step is to create a reddish face on your face. I think I just, I just kind of did that. I just guess I need to spread the red everywhere now. Okay. Don't be embarrassed to look bad with a massive football. Quite a complimentary color. Okay, so let's get our red on and then we'll get our football. So we're gonna go back in with our lippy sticks. We're just, it says a red-ish complexion, so not like totally red, but you know, just a little red, red-ish. Now give me my football so I won't be ashamed. Thank you. I've got my football. Ain't no shame in my game, y'all, okay? I don't feel bad anymore because I have a massive football next to my face according to these instructions. That does nothing. I don't feel any different. Okay. Step number eight, fill your eyes with what it doesn't say. This method is not required due to the large number of eyes, but is usually required for those with the same dog or breed. So I don't have a large number of eyes. I only have two. I think that's pretty normal. Um, don't have a dog. So I guess for me, this step is not optional, just from what I'm reading here. So I'm gonna fill my eyes with the only thing that I know of that's eye safe that I have, which is my Kroger brand contact lens solution. Okay, now it says, choose a forehead powder or lipstick pencil next to the color of your hair. Um, my hair is black. So I'm gonna use a black eyeliner because that's you know next to the color of my hair. Hello, hair follicle. <laughs> it just says show it to the starting edge of your eye and then I guess like throw it out. I don't know. It's so itchy. Oh my god. I have filled my starting edge of my eyes with small buttons. They're actually stickers, but I don't know how well they're going to stay on. We can move on to step number nine. When you quit, you will notice your father. Oh, well. Buy buttons. Um, don't notice my father anywhere. Or wrinkles. Yeah, lots of wrinkles. 
greasy and weakening of the eyeshadow and even after hours. Okay. Mix crowns with roses to give eyeshadow on your fingers. So I don't know what the heck they mean by that, but what I'm guessing is maybe like a rose gold color. So I'm gonna take the shade Aura from the Carly Bible Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and just says to put it on my finger. So here it is on my finger. Isn't it pretty? It's so pretty. Um, number 10, use an eye damage brush. I don't know what that is. So I just went with this brush because I feel like this one would really hurt your eye if you poked with it. Um, apply eyeshadow throughout the entire mascara. So we need to put some mascara on. The color of the 100 eyes shadows moved slightly to the outer corner of the eye. So I think what I'm supposed to do, I'm just gonna go in with the same shade because I really don't know. Actually, I'm gonna take this shade OA right here because that looks like if I mixed 100 eyeshadows together, what would it look like? Because that's what it's supposed to be is like 100 eyeshadows mixed together. And we're only gonna put this on the outer corner of our eye. If you want to cover your eyes with oil, use an eyeliner or apply a liquid cream or bleach to make it look smooth and even while well, not bleaching my eyes. I know I look crazy, but I'm not bleaching my eyes. <laughs> um, make a dotted line or a dotted line on the pain line, then combine these points to form a solid line. So we're gonna go back in with our black um, Ulta Beauty eyeliner and wash both eyes after drying with two coats. Okay. Um, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take these two cotton pads here. These are gonna be my two coats. And it says to wash your eyes. We already used our contact solution. So we're gonna use our eye makeup remover lotion from Neutrogena. After lip makeup, makeup is perfect. But it didn't tell me how to do my lip makeup. So I'm just gonna go in with my everyday lip, which is going to be the Beauty Bakery Liquid Gloss in the shade Drive Me Glazy. This is oh, it's such a beautiful gloss. I actually kind of like how my lips look with the concealer on them. I mean, it's not my favorite look, but it's not bad. It's not as bad as my face, so pretty good. Um, okay, now this is where it takes a weird turn, okay? Like not, not scary or anything, but it's just weird. Um, but brethren, okay. It is eight to 12 inches wide. I don't know what they're talking about. And floods four to five times the surface of the earth. Do you think makeup is old? I chose my uh, Morphe set and refresh mist in the starberry scent. The reason I chose this one, aside from the fact that I just, this is the best setting spray in the whole universe, um, is because I already have peanut butter on my face. So I already smell like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So I figured, you know, why not? Like, let's just live it up. So that is the finished look. What do you think? My face actually feels really good after all that setting spray. Maybe that'll help the peanut butter come off. I don't know. So we're about to have an adventure of our own, trying to get this off my face. It was definitely an adventure putting it on. So I had a lot of fun doing this. If you guys want me to do more stuff like this, I absolutely will. I'm always down for a good laugh. I love to have fun. I don't mind making a fool of myself, clearly. So, if you guys wanna see more like this, just let me know, and I will see you guys in the next one. If you feel like it, subscribe. And you know what, if you don't, it doesn't bother me at all, cause I got my little football. I'm a little embarrassed, but you know what, I don't feel bad, cause I got this massive football next to my face. That's all I need. Bye!